Paradox Rift is almost here, and today we are looking at all the fire cards that are coming in the latest set. Welcome to Jank Play TCG. My name's Landon, and here we play Jank. And today I'm using the Justin Basil website, fantastic website, highly recommend it, to look at all the fire type cards that are coming in the new set, Paradox Rift. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, I gotta scroll. There we go. Scroll down to fire. The first fire Pokemon is Magby, the adorable baby Pokemon. For zero energy, that's right, zero energy, Magby, gradual heater, during your opponent's next turn, if this Pokemon is damaged by an attack, even if it's knocked out, put six counters on the attacking Pokemon? What? That is fantastic. That's such a great move. You can throw on Rocky Helmet or better, Vengeful Punch, and they're taking 100 damage when they're knocking out a little baby magpie. I love it. I think this could definitely make a jank deck. Whether or not it's a good will be another uh, problem to figure out. But for now, I'm really loving it, and I think this could be so much fun to play around with. Magpie, fantastic card. Heck yeah. And we're already into Gen 5 with Pan Seer, which evolves into Simi Seer, which has a fun ability. But Pan Seer, one energy, call for family, search deck for a basic Pokemon, put it on your bench, then shuffle your deck. Pan Sage had the same call for family attack, and yet again, I have to iterate, no. No, I don't like it. If it was for two, if I could call for family, have Simi Seer out, and search for both Simi, uh, Pan Seer, no, Pan Sage, sorry, it gets confusing. Pan Sage and Pan Poor, I would love it. But I can only search for one, and that means I get to have Pan Seer be knocked out, and I just have one basic Pokemon to replace it with. No, 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 no. That is not what we want from Call for Family. Sorry, Pan Seer, sorry. Uh, but for three energy, Searing Flame, 20 damage, your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. No, thank you. Moving on. Three energy is just way too much. Simi Seer is really where it's at with the ability Monkey Trio. If you have Simi Sage, Simi Seer, and Simi Poor in play, ignore all colorless energy in the attack cost of attacks this Pokemon uses. So, it will annihilate three out of the four energy needed for this attack, which is fantastic. When you partner that with, what is it called, Luminous Energy? And it's just one attachment to 190 damage. You do 30 damage to yourself, but who cares? 190 is phenomenal for one energy. I love it. I think it's interesting. And I think this is going to be a fun jank deck. Already got ideas for it. So be sure to subscribe. So you see uh, eventually Monkey Trio deck come out from me and how jank it is. Next up, we've got Volcanian. For one fire energy, dur dual turbo. Dur dur turbo. Uh, dual turbo. 20 damage. Choose up to two of your benched Pokemon. For each of those Pokemon, attach a basic fire energy card from your discard pile to that Pokemon. Love it. Absolutely love it. You're doing damage. You're accelerating energy. Awesome. Fantastic. Going to be great starter Pokemon for any fire deck. I love it. For four energy, 120 damage. No, we are not going to try to get four energy onto Volcanion to do 123 energy. Eh, okay. But it's not even knocking itself out. If you are in a mirror match, Volcanion's not even knocking out the other Volcanion. For four energy, no. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm being mean, but just no. Dual Turbo is where it's at. Forget about that heavy impact. Next up, we're already on Gen 9. Holy cow. Food Coco. Uh, one fire energy, 10 damage. Two fire energy, 20 damage. I don't love it. Um, The art is adorable. I feel sorry for it. It's stuck out in the rain. Thankfully, some plants, grass types rule, are protecting it from being just KO'd from rain. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I'm not a fan. Uh, let's evolve up into Crocolor. We've got two fire energy, rolling fireball, 90 damage. Put a, uh, put an energy attached to this Pokemon into your hand. No. If it was attach it and, like, move it to a benched Pokemon, 
okay, but putting it into your hand, it's just bad. No, I don't like it. Um, and then its final evolution is in the set, but it comes through as a different typing due to the tear effect. I think it's darkness, not 100% sure. We'll have to check out. Hopefully not darkness. Charizard's already dark. Maybe it's something else. We'll have to find out. Um, be sure to subscribe to find out. Uh, <laughs> Char Cadet here, one colorless energy, protect, flip a coin if heads during your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage from attacks and effects of attacks done to this Pokemon, fantastic, love it, um, and then two energy, 20 damage, forget it, just that first attack is where it's at. Char Cadet, uh, one, one colorless energy, search your deck for a basic fire energy, attach it to this Pokemon, then shuffle your deck, that's okay. It's not great. I would much prefer Protect. Um, I think it will really depend on Armor Rouge. Let's take a look at Armor Rouge here, which evolves from Char Cadet. Um, ability Crimson Armor. If this Pokemon has full HP, if and it takes... Wait. If this Pokemon has full HP, it takes 80 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon after applying weakness and resistance. That is interesting. 80 less damage is pretty fun. You'd have to play this with a mix of increased damage reduction and um, healing. Mostly the healing, I think. This seems like a jank deck. Doesn't seem like a deck that will take off in the format. Let's see, we've also got Scorching Bazooka. 40 plus damage. This deck does 40 more damage for each fire energy attached to this Pokemon. So that does make that second Char Cadet a little bit better. The issue I have with that uh, Char Cadet is that it accelerates energy to itself. If it would choose one Pokemon, it would be semi better, but it's only to itself, which means if it gets KO'd, you lose two fire energy instead of one, and it's your attack. So clearly, you're not evolving after using that attack. And yeah, I would much rather just use Volcanion Dual Turbo to accelerate energy onto two Char Cadets. And um, so yeah, try to get more energy done down on this Armor Rouge, plus that supporter that accelerates fire energy. Um, but I think it's only if one of your Pokemon were knocked out. So uh, yeah, Armor Rouge seems fun. I'm going to try it out. Definitely not meta-breaking in any way. In my opinion, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I like it. Um, I'm sad it's not a Terra type. If it was a Terra type, I'd be way more into it because it's protected while on the bench sort of thing. So you got to play Manaphy with it. Um, but yeah, there's something there, right? There's there's something there. Radiant Serena to uh, heal up Pokemon and... Uh, yeah, we got to we got to figure out healing with this and increase damage reduction obviously. So is it healing that we want from Radiant and Serena or is it damage reduction we want from Guard? Obviously it's the healing because Pokémon V are seeing less and less play as evidence of we're talking about an EX deck. Next up, we got a future Pokémon. This is the first future Pokémon we are looking at on video. So let's take a look, find out if it's interesting. It is Iron Moth. Um the future doesn't really do anything. It will just interact with other future cards that are either in the set or coming. Hopefully there's more coming. Um we've got I believe Ace Specs returning in the next set or the first set of the new year, whatever, um, in a future set. And maybe a specs will work with some future stuff as well. I think there is a future tool as well that affects this. Anyways, enough about future, future, um, ability, thermal reactor. Once during your turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench to the active spot, you may move any amount of fire energy from your other Pokemon to it. 3 energy, heat ray, 120 damage during your next turn. This Pokemon can't use heat ray. What? Great ability. Great ability. But that's what you're building up to? 120 damage? No. Put something like Armor Rouge EX's Scorching Bazooka on there. Maybe not have the 40 base. Just have it do like 40 for each fire energy on here or something along those lines, like weird ear. I'm thinking weird ear, right? But it's a single prize Pokemon. So you throw that down, you switch it into the active. You can unload all this fire energy onto it and then boom, big damage. No, you're only doing 120. And the thing is, 
is that if you follow my train of thought, three energy would equal 120. So it would be the same thing, except you could load up more energy on it and do more damage. <sighs> Iron Moth, the first future Pokemon we are looking at, I'm not excited about it. I don't even think the TMs in this set will do anything for it, sadly. Anyways, let's check out the final fire Pokemon, Chi Yu, one fire energy flare bringer. Flare bringer, love that. Attach up to two fire energy from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. It's it's honestly an argument between Chi Yu and Volcanion, right? Um, so let's go back up to Volcanion. Volcanion here, du dual turbo. You attach basic fire energy from your discard pile to two Pokemon. So it's two energy to two different Pokemon. So one energy each. Um, where Chi Yu is two energy to one Pokemon. That does put a target on. Um, whatever Pokemon you're attaching that to, right? Which is bad, but it does get you set up faster where I like the spreading out the energy more with Volcanion. I am still in Team Volcanion. However, Chiyu has a second attack that's only two fire energy. Way easier to pull off. Let's read it. Envious Inferno. An Envious Inferno? Yeah, yeah, that's what I said, right? That's... That's what I said. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon during their last turn, this attack does 90 more damage. So we have a really good setup attack followed by a revenge attack. That feels off to me. Um, you want Chi Yu in the early game and you want Chi Yu when a Pokemon's been knocked down. It's very strange because Flare Bringer, you're going to use set up a Pokemon to attack in the in the next turn, right? Because you're not going to use this attack on your next turn because it would only do 50 unless you're powering up a Chi Yu because your Chi Yu's going to get knocked down. So then you can Envious Inferno and you see the issue here. Um, I Honestly, it's all about that first attack. Chi Yu has a decent second attack. Maybe that makes it win out over Volcanion. Volcanion has 20 more HP. Will that 20 HP be big enough? to justify Volcanion and eh. she it's between Chi Yu and Volcanion for your setup and honestly the big standout for fire in the set is Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge EX is fantastic love it gonna play around with it and I Simi Seer is also pretty big but that's in its monkey trio right so yeah and Magpie oh my gosh fire has a lot actually I was leaning on disappointed but it actually has a lot. That Magpie, the Simi Seer, the Volcanian, um, the Armor Rouge, and the Chi Yu. Honestly, Iron Moth is the big disappointment here. Our first future Pokemon is the big disappointment. That's that's so disappointing. And then obviously we don't have the final evolution in fire here, so that might you know swing it for someone. Um, but yeah, I'm interested in building a Armor Rouge EX deck for sure. I think it'll be plenty jank. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this breakdown of the fire Pokemon coming in Paradox Rift in just a few weeks here. Um, absolutely excited for this set. Uh, the pre-release was so much fun. Going to show you the league deck I'm starting with, uh, after all these set reviews. So be sure to like this video and subscribe so you keep seeing all of the set reviewed from me and of course obviously that league deck that i'm starting with if you don't know about league be sure to search my channel for the limited league format it's in the alternative format playlist highly recommend that format see if your local game store will run that for you it's a lot of fun. Highly recommend it. You really get to play with the new cards, which is awesome. Um, also, be sure to check out the Discord. The Discord is where we've got some fantastic jank deck builders, some fantastic jank deck analyzers. We just have a blast talking jank cards in the Discord. Highly recommend that as well. And of course, until next time, keep playing jank.